Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to customize the start menu of Windows 10. So if you just upgraded to Windows 10 or you're just finding this video right now, there are different ways you can customize the Windows 10 start menu experience. And most of them are pretty simple. So in this brief tutorial, I wanted to make a brief walkthrough of how to do such changes. So we're going to start by heading over to the start menu. And you want to type in choose which folders. And you should get underneath best match, choose which folders appear on start, right above system settings. You want to left click on that one time. Now you have the ability to change different folders that will appear on the start menu. So if I move this over to the side and then I open up the start menu, we can see that there are some folders that will appear in the start menu. So just the settings option will appear right here. If you wanted to add File Explorer, we can see we have the File Explorer icon now appears as well. On that documents, no problem. You can see now we have the documents icon as well. So that's one way you can customize the start menu. Another way would be to go back to the start menu. Left click on the settings icon on the left side with the little gear icon. Should be there by default for most of you guys. And then you want to left click on personalization tile right here. Left click on start. And now you can customize even more settings. You can show more tiles. So if you turn that on, you're going to have more tiles appear on the right side. If you wanted to show suggestions, so like app suggestions and whatnot, you can disable them through here. And you can see we also have an option to go right to that choose which folders appear on the start that we were looking at before. If you go underneath colors right here, you can change the accent colors of not only the start menu, but the taskbar as well. So you can see that we just changed the color a little bit. So that's a nice little setting you can change as well. And you also have the ability to remove certain tiles if you do not want them to appear. So let's say I want to get rid of some of these advertisements. I could just right click on them here and unpin from start. You can collapse the side of the star menu by clicking on this little arrow right here and you can actually rename them as well. If you click on X, it just gets rid of the name of the file. And you can see by moving around the titles, we can consolidate the star menu. And then by dragging left and right, we have the ability to condense our star menu as well. If you wanted to pin certain icons to the right side, you just right click on an app right here. Pin to start. You can see now it is pinned down here. If you want, like I said, if you wanted to get rid of one of these on the right side, you can just unpin from start. So pretty simple. If you wanted to get rid of one of these listings altogether, you can right click on it. And then you can uninstall the application complete from your computer right from the start menu. And you have the ability also to make the start menu wider if you chose to do so. You can make it smaller. So you definitely have a few different options there. And we can just click out of here. So it's definitely nice to have a few different options to play around with the start menu with. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching this tutorial. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.